hi. Today we're going to make the Origami Boomerang. This is um, the Boomerang, yes, it's left-handed version. I'll just give you a quick demo of what it does, how it works, flies. So there's my bedroom, and then I'll just throw it over there. Okay, it normally comes back if you don't have space, but my bedroom's quite small, so... So we start off with two pieces of paper. Um, they're both A4 cut in half. You only need one of them unless you want to make two boomerangs or something. So we start off and we fold the first bit in half. Like this. So now we have um, half our A4 by half. So now we unfold it. And now we're going to fold this this um, edge just before the middle, so it folds in half quite nicely. So maybe leave a millimetre. Like that. So it folds, uh, you know, quite well. And do the same to the bottom side. And there we go. So it folds in half perfectly. Set this bit, this bit funny down there. There. So now what we do is we're just going to fold this in half. Like this. I give this a diff difficulty level of 14, which is um, moderately easy, um, yeah, intermediate. There we go. So now it's in half. And now we're just I'm going to fold this corner to the middle line. And this one too. And then fold them back too. So this way. Make sure it's nice and, you know, in line there. And this side too. So what we're going to do now is we're going to inside reverse fold these triangles. So we're just going to open it and squash in like this. And then close. And do the same to this side as well. And then crease. Okay, now open the model. Um, this is where you can choose if you want it left-handed or right-handed. It's just, um, if you want it right-handed, you do it this side. And if you're left-handed, you do it this side. I'm going to do it right-handed because most of the population are right-handed. It's just simple. So we're going to start off by opening this layer. And we're going to, you see this square? We're just going to mountain fold along the middle line here. Like this. In case you don't know what mountain fold is, it's just like, you know, it looks like a mountain. So you fold this way. And a valley fold is folding this way, so it looks like a valley. So now, once we've got a mountain fold, we turn it over, and we're going to mountain fold the outside of the uh, square. Like this. So now we have our um, square done. We're just going to turn it over and um, close this flap here and also close this square at the same time just like this and then we're going to fold this flap up to this line like this and then um, fold this in and fold this flap down to this corner there so just push it in there like that. Okay, there we go. Okay, the next step we're going to do is we're going to fold this into the this um, this edge to this edge, like this. And this edge too, we're going to lift this flap up, and then fold this in, and then flatten it. So we have a little flap here. What we're going to do now is we're going to just 
um, unfold it a bit and lift this up and put this down first and we're going to collapse this in there, that flap there into that corner and then close the top and then squish it closed like this so now that is now locked and then crease you need very very good creases in this piece to make a really good bring round like that. Okay, now we're going to make the ends of the boomerang pointy. So we're going to open it up and then fold this down like that. And this corner down as well. Unfold this triangle and then inside reverse fold like we did earlier. So you mount a fold along both these lines and then close it. Okay, now unfold this triangle and close it like this. Then we're going to fold this flap into this gap here. Like that. And then this crease. And we're going to do the exact same into this flap. But this one's only got one layer here. So we're going to fold down this corner, like this. Sorry about my dogs, they bark all the time. <laughs> so we've got this corner down, and then we do this one. And then open this up. And then mount a fold along both these lines. Like that. And close it. And then we're going to tuck this triangle into this flap here, like earlier. So just close the model, and then just put it into there. Like that. Just like that. Make sure it all collapses as well. And now I'm going to teach you how to throw it. So this is the right-handed version, so we're going to have to hold it. So this line is upwards, we throw it like this. And make sure that you're throwing it with the closed um, side, not the open bit, or this will be um, air resistant. And with this point first, and just throw it like this. You flick it, and it will go, and come back to you, and then you just catch it. Okay, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe, or free. That's even better. Thank you. Bye.